to the plug of audio net it's your boy cool kill that was that nipsey hustle racks in the middle matter of fact y'all call it 919-530-7449 my special guest just stepped through the building i'm gonna let him introduce himself from south carolina he say the prince south carolina hell yeah yeah y'all already know man it's the sc prince man buddha b-u-d-d-h-a underscore sme man y'all go and check me out on ig what's going on with you talk to me Man, we in here today, man. We got the new single, man. We just, uh, we on the SC run, man. We just pretty much grinding all up, man. Like, that's, you know what I mean? Okay, oh, okay. On the menu. Okay, okay. So, let, let, before we get to the music, man, you say you from South Carolina. Georgetown, South Carolina. Georgetown. How was it going up in Georgetown, bro? Uh, let me explain it. You know what I mean? Just, it's real growing up in Georgetown. You know okay. I mean? It's real. You know what I mean? You got, like, you know what I mean? People say it's like that everywhere, but. Yeah. You know, I, hey. You know how it is, man. Everybody says it's real growing up in their, in their hoods, man. And, but it's that's what it's like that where I'm from. Okay. I hear I hear accent. You speak two different languages? Well, you know what I mean? It's the Geechee. Okay. You know what I mean? It's, it's the Geechee. You know what I mean? It's Portuguese and Creole. Okay. Uh-huh. So do you speak, I take it you speak it real fluently. Yeah, fluent. Yeah. You, you ever think about doing some Creole music? Or is that well, the transition well, later down the career? Well, you know, me and... uh. Me and uh, me and a certain DJ, we talked about it. You know what I mean. Me and the OG DJ, man, we talked about it yesterday. Okay. About uh, me uh, incorporating some of that stuff in the music, man. So. Okay. We see how we see how that work. We see okay. how it play out. Okay. You the oldest. You the oldest child. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, sibling? yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm the oldest sibling. You know what I mean? I don't know. I only got brothers. You know okay. What I mean? On my on my on my mom's side, you know what I mean? But um, I got a sister on my on my. On my dad's side, but I'm the oldest. Okay, okay. Being brothers. the being the oldest, you know, it shows the foundation of leadership. Yeah, yeah. So how do you show it, be that example to your siblings of being the leader? Just grinding hard, man. Leading by example, man. You know, taking charge, getting up, and you know what I mean, and hustling. You know what I mean, letting them know, like you know what I mean, nobody gonna get you nothing. You know what I'm saying? So you got to really go out there and get it. You know what I mean? So just leading by, like you said, man. You know, doing that right there, leading by example. That's a, that's strong leadership. You know what I'm saying? And teach teaching them that much. Okay, what was the first record, or what made you get into music? Uh, I thought, see, the truth is, like, I always, like, you know what I mean, love music, feel like I got an air for music, you know okay. I mean, good music at that. You know I mean, just growing up, you know what I mean, everybody, you know, you black, you've been in the church, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying, girl, everybody's singing, you know, you do, you know what I mean, so you kind of feel like it's, uh, you know what I mean, it's a, it's, it's a soul thing, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, pretty much, yeah, it's a, it's a soul thing. So are you saying that Buddha was singing in the choir back in the day? I was singing in the choir, but I wasn't singing in the choir, but I done, I done sung a couple I done sung a couple tunes, man, in the okay. church. Okay. <laughs> okay. Growing up. Okay, and it, yeah, and it seems sure. like from going there and getting the response, you know, from being either around family, church, friends, it helped boost you to keep going as an artist. Well well, you know, that was look that right there was like hitting the miss though. First, okay. you know what I mean, growing up and you know what I mean, years like not doing it and then, you know, just being, you know what I mean, in the street, you know what I mean, just that whole like, you know, and just being able to uh, pretty much talk about what you're going through, but you know, actually okay. singing it when it came to music. You know okay. what I'm saying? So you, you would you say you're more of a singer or more of a rap? More of a singer. Okay. Yeah, I say more of a singer. What's the first? It's a transition. I, I transition into more of a singer. Okay. What's the first record or the first cover that you did that you said, okay, I can hear my own voice and I know the talent within myself to keep pushing. You know, as a singer first. Um, I'm gonna have to say uh, we was um. <clears throat> me and me and my engineer, we was uh, remaking um, a the Fredo Bang uh, track, man. Um, okay. That ooh track he had, that ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So after remaking the track, uh, you know, we go back and listen to. It, I'm like, man, that's that's dope, man. Like, yeah, yo, we, yeah. we probably can do this whole Madonna thing, man. You know what I mean, or whatever like that. And I'm like, and I'm like, yeah, that's it right there. You know what I mean? Versus, you know, versus, you know what I mean? Attacking a, a rap track. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, okay, and then going through it through a little bit, you had to sit down for a little bit. Uh, for oh, sure. you know, being sitting down, it, it helps you get that focus. So, what mm -hmm. was you studying having to sit down for that period of time? You know what I mean? Like, of course, yeah, like you say, you know, I did a five year fair bit. Okay. So, you know what I mean? Me just sitting down, being around like a lot of OGs, man, and you know what I okay. mean? Just getting the game, you know what I'm saying? Like, just studying me at, at the end of the day, like getting to know myself, you know what I mean? By, you know what I mean? Whether, it was, you know what I mean? Just really taking advice and really like, you know, like, uh, you know, just really sitting back and sitting back and, you know, I mean, you getting a second chance. Like I always say, like, that, I feel like that was a second chance. You know what I mean? Like I got a second chance or whatever because, um, 
like I said, I was able to sit back and like pretty much just like learn myself, you know what I mean, and, and see like what I really wanted to do, you know what I mean? Okay. And it was, it was just like, that's pretty much how it was, man. Just like, you know what I mean, listening to others, like their trials and their tribulations, and be like, damn, like, you know what I mean, you got similar stuff, except they ain't getting another chance. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's, you're talking to dudes who got 30 and 40 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. So learning from the people that you were sitting down with to learn from their mistakes, mm -hmm. to know when you come out a second yeah. time where it's time for you to stand up for this mm -hmm. second chance. That's right. It's like, all right, I'm going to take even what I thought for myself as far as, as well as what I've been listening to from the OGs, apply it to my own career, the music, entrepreneurship, whatever, and just and move past it like that. Yeah, for sure. That's exactly what it was. All right, well, we'll be right back after this. I got my special guest, Buddha, in the building. You're not tuned to the plug out of your net. We'll be right back after this. We got City Girls up next. A little bit of right shrimp and no flex. We ain't flex. We'll be right back. All right, it's your boy Cool Kill. Holla at me. You're not tuned to the plug out of your net. It's your boy Cool Kill. As a matter of fact, call in 919 530 7449 and say, What up, though? To my special guest. Buddha, what's going on with you, baby? What's happening? What's happening? Hey, look, man, you on this Hustlers Testimony Tour right now, man. How the tour be going, first off? Man, the tour has been love, man. Um, you know, pretty much just getting out there. Uh, you know, meet the, you know, me meet the fans, meet the the DJs, the promoters. You know what I mean? On the hand to hand, like it's different. It's a difference when you shaking hands versus, you know, me over IG and you know what I'm saying and uh, yeah. the, the radio guys. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, it's it's way better that way. How important is that? Because a lot of people, I mean, you got different type of artists and there's no knock to them. You got the digital rappers, the digital artists, and then you got the ones like you said, go hand to hand meeting the DJs, the tastemakers. <clears throat> the personality so how important is that to shake those hands rather than just send it through the dm and say hey can you listen to my music <laughs> honestly man you know like i said man dealing with the ogs man like yeah is it, that that's important man the relationships you know when you get out there yeah. you're shaking their hands versus you know just send them a dm like hey i'm so and so man rock with me that it's hard you know what i mean when you can't put a face with the music and you can't right. put a vibe with the music so it's hard man that way so man i prefer mm -hmm. uh, and i and i encourage artists you know what i'm saying uh, you know what I mean? Get out there, man. You know what I mean? Put your feet on the ground, man, and, you know, shake some hands and, and make some relationships. Okay, speaking of shaking them hands with them relationships, man, I see you opened up House of Blues back in March uh -huh, yeah, with, with, the, with the OG Jeezy. Yeah, it was love. How was lit. that, man? Yeah, man, he lit, man. Uh, Jeezy, man, he most definitely lit, man. You know what I mean? He showed love. Um, uh, like it, like I said, it was, a, it was a great experience. It was my first time actually performing in front of a sold-out crowd. You okay. know what I'm saying? So it okay. was, you know what I mean? So the energy, it was uh, it was loud. Okay, it was you, how, I think you had a chance to chop it up with OG Jesus for a second. Uh, like not really. I ain't really had a chance to really like chop it up with him exactly. Just okay. uh, just his people. You know okay. what I'm saying? Because yeah, just his people. Because man, he was. You know what I mean? He been he been pretty much he was, he was, he was locked in. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, he was yeah. Locked in, you yeah, know yeah everybody's like, locked yeah. in, man. And performing, you know, in South Carolina House of Blues, man. How that energy? We talked about energy early, man. How is important to make sure that the energy is right when you perform? Because Sometimes your energy can be up and the crowds can be like, what you're doing, and then your energy could be high and theirs can be low. So how important is it to get that crowd energy just as high as yours when you're coming up on that stage? It's important. It's important because like you said, like you said, like if you out there, man, you frowning, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, and, and the crowd gonna be frowning. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's what you, you gonna get like what you put out. You know what I mean? You gonna get that, that good energy. You come in with that good energy, man. And, you know what I mean? And, and you know what I'm saying? You turned or, or or if you got a sexy mood, or however it is, your, your, your vibe, like, I feel like you are, I feel like, um, you know what I mean, like, however you enter the situation, it's like, it's pretty much like what you're going to get out, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, and then you also just released a record with Boosie Bad, with uh, the One It Up record. Uh, yeah, how, right. how did that, matter of fact, first off, before we even get to the music, how did that connection start off to make, you know what I'm saying, like you said, energy. So how did that energy with you reaching out to Boosie or your people's reaching out to, make sure that that feature and that collaboration gets put all the way together uh yeah honestly uh see boosie was doing um it was doing like the holidays or whatever like that and he like you know me doing the features and, okay and all of that or whatever so my people's reached out to him or whatever like that and he like all right cool and i come down so he told you know i mean he actually told us you know we went to his to his, to his mansion out there okay to boosie estates okay. we recorded it at the spot or whatever like that you get there like you know what i mean like real recognized real you know what i mean on some, yeah yeah on the street level type thing you know what i mean too right. so uh so he on some he on, he on some stuff like yeah let's do it you know what I'm saying we went in there knocked the record out man you know we vibing uh set up a, a video shoot date for him to come to come to my hood back in Georgetown South Carolina okay them to actually shoot the video and everything so um and that's what happened man we robbed it like that man it was it, you know what I mean we mesh you know what okay I'm saying? now did now having a video shoot now 
you know, sometimes once one person sees somebody in the city, the city go crazy. So yeah. was it more of like a lockdown? Ain't nobody know nothing that Boosie came to the city, or nah, nah. it was more like somebody seen him and was like, "Yo, Boosie, at X Y Z address," and the whole city came out to show that love. Yeah, everybody, do everybody came out. What it was was, you know, where I'm at, man. Like they don't believe, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, so you hear, oh, Boosie at the Wild is small. So you like, oh man, Boosie had the sun. So they like, oh no, I got to go see this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that, so they, so dude start, you know what I mean? You had some people pulling up there in their bedroom slippers. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh man. You got some, you know what I mean? Just start, you know what I mean? Just to be a part just of that event. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So it was live. And, and like I said, like Boosie, he never been to Georgetown, South Carolina, not even for a show. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. So for me to, for, so for him to pull up and then you saw you, uh, and for everybody to be there able to come up uh to be a part of it for free you know what i'm saying yeah, like it's yeah. just like hey pull up you know what i mean yeah. you know i mean catch a vibe or whatever like that and you know what i mean that was it was loud okay okay and how, how when did you lock in you signed with uh two official promotions mm -hmm. so how'd you lock in with them uh yeah two man like that, like another good vibe man with two okay. official man um uh you know what i mean he was uh actually doing my promotion and stuff like that right there down uh myrtle beach south carolina okay doing a black bikers event or whatever like that and you know what I mean? It was like you know what I mean. It was like a um, like a damn like a match made in heaven almost okay. type thing because uh because of what I was because of what I was needing. You know what I mean? He was ready to, to deliver. You know what right, I mean? Him right, and his right. team was ready to deliver. So me and him, you know, we we catching a vibe and and we pretty much like got our had our goals set on the same thing or whatever at the time. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, uh, which right. was like a, like I said a couple months back. So uh, after we done we done. You know what I mean? We made it official. Like man, like man, you gonna sign me? We gonna do this and you know what I mean? This you know what I mean? Pretty much put it together. So. Yeah. Oh, okay, and, and he does promotions for QC, correct? Yeah, quality control. That's his family. Yeah. Okay, okay. So what? What about two official made you say, hey, "Look, I know what you're doing for them. Can you do the same thing for me?" Outside of the energy, what was it to make you just believe? Like, I know that this this relationship right here, like you said, relationships help uh -huh. build each other up. What about this relationship? Say, hey, I know that being with two can make take me to that next level I'm looking for. Well, me and him, man, you're like we vibe, like we spend a lot of time. He like my brother, you know what I'm saying? He okay. like my family, you know what I mean? Uh, so, we spend a lot of time together, you know what I mean? Okay. For, in order for it's not like a like you say it's a relationship. It's not like a hey man, I need you to do this for me yeah, for this. Yeah. So you do this for me. It was more like a relationship. It's like you know what I mean? You just you know what I mean? So you know like uh, when somebody go, like genuine about yeah. helping you, you know? Right. What I mean? And uh, and. Or whatever like that so uh that's pretty much what it was man it's just everything just all it's all love so where you know what i mean to where it's like hey like let's you know I mean let's get it done like every all of us you know what i mean got a got a goal in mind right you know right right saying? right and you've been dropping music for some time but you dropped this this new single you dropped about a minute second uh living like mm -hmm. so right now i got one question for you who are you living like Right now, man, I'm living like me, man. Like, okay, I'm just okay, that's the good answer. That's the answer I'm looking for. Yeah, right now I'm living like me, man. Like I said, man, waking up every day, grinding, man. Okay. Um, you know what I mean? Just trying to get the job, get the job done for real, man. Like it's a Carolina thing, man. Like okay. you know what I mean? Like. You know, and man. what's the inspiration behind this living like record? Inspiration behind a living like record, like for one, is a sexy record. You okay. know what I mean? It's a it's a thug loving style record. You know what I mean? Okay. It's not. You know what I mean? It's not a. It's not a street record. It's not a. It's not a, um, it's not a. Oh, I love you so much record. Yeah, it's a, yeah. it's a thug loving style record. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, um, so uh, the inspiration behind the record is just you know like just you know what I mean pretty much like you you can say it's a for a certain somebody or you can just be like you know what I'm saying like you could just feel like for me for me it was more like a a certain situation. You know what okay. I'm saying? Okay. But when you hear in the record, everybody you know what I mean every male, every female, every male and every female you know what I mean has somebody you know what I mean like who know like. How they living, like you know what I'm living like, so you know what I need, like you know what I need to come on to, you know what I need to okay. feel like when it comes to the bedroom or whatever. Like okay, I'm gonna let you go ahead and world premiere this record, bro. It's on you. Uh huh. Y'all already know, man. It's your boy, man. Buddha, S B U D D H A. I'm the South Carolina Prince, man, and this record right here is called Living Like. Uh huh. A special guest, Buddha, was telling y'all how y'all at, really asking y'all how y'all living like. That living like record is crazy, bro. That living like record is crazy, bro. You got a project coming up, I see. Uh huh. I uh, got a project coming up, man. It's called Hustler's Testimony, man. Y'all got to go and grab it. Y'all got to go and grab it when y'all when it when it drop. Like that's my story. So what's okay? So I was about to ask, what's the how? What's the inspiration behind the Hustler's Testimony? But you said this your story. Yeah. Straight like that. Um, well, Hustler's Testimony, man. It's the truth. You know what I mean? It's, it's you know what I mean? It's like kind of. It's almost self-explanatory. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the. You know what I mean? It's the, you know what I mean? It's the truth about it's the truth about my grind, the truth about my hustle. You know what I mean? The truth about you know what I'm really living like for real. 
Okay, now are you, is this gonna be all you or you got some features? You know, a lot of artists don't like too many features on a project or do you want to be like, I don't mind one hey. or two, so. Uh, right now is a, right now is a, on the project is EP for sure and um, I got an artist out of Dallas uh, featuring uh, Mo3, man, he's a mm, dope artist or whatever like that. Okay, mm -hmm. how'd you uh, link up with Mo3? True fans, man. I left. Uh, I'm uh, linked up with three at Boosie Crib. You know, so we at Boosie Crib. Him, he, he, him and Boosie recording. Me and Boosie recording. Actually, he had okay. a situation already with a, uh, with a uh, with Boosie. With a, uh, okay. you know what I mean? With a uh, trail and uh, the whole situation they got going on or whatever. So, okay. Yeah, you know I mean him. We actually, so we linked up and he 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 came. He actually came to my hood also and okay. shot the video. He came from uh, down from uh, from Dallas, Texas. Okay. Shot and shot the video for, for that uh, for that uh, Pacific record in Georgetown, South Carolina. Okay, and you also linked up with super producer Mossberg Mantana. Yeah, um, Mossberg. How did you link up with Mossberg? Uh, Mossberg, uh, Mossberg out of uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Okay. So uh, one of my partners, he actually reached out to Mossberg like, "Yo, man, um, like, man, my man, my doggy dope, man, or whatever like that, man. You gotta send us some music, man, so we can song, you know what I mean? So we can, uh, you know, what I mean, make something happen while we on this run or whatever like that. Okay. So you know what I mean? He, uh, he ain't had no objection to it. You know what I mean? He showed love. You know what I mean? Sending over the music and we was linking, uh, connecting like that. Okay. All right. Um, any new records y'all got coming outside? I know you got this one record. They probably ain't released. You got a shorty record. Yeah, shorty. I shorty know. Next. I know you. I know. We call us the pull up. We really the name of the plug. We expect the exclusive. So I know you was gonna bring the shorty record to come bounce back mm -hmm, mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. to premiere. I know you got it. Don't no, said go ahead and let us premiere. No, for no you. nah, man. This I don't got it. I don't got it, man. Hey, listen, I don't got it, man. I wish we could. <laughs> I wish we could, man. Um, but but yeah, you holding off on the shorty record, but it's most definitely coming, man. I feel like it's gonna be a trap queen style record. Okay. And I, you know, what I mean, I know they gonna love it, man. I know the club's gonna love it. I know. You know, I know the, I know the, I know they gonna let a record. You know what I mean? I know the club. I know it's gonna go crazy in the club. The shorty record. Okay, I right, yeah. yeah. We just had a. Uh, she called herself the Carolina Trap Queen. I'm gonna I'm plug you in to who she is. Uh -huh. uh, off air, but yeah, bro. Where can everybody find you at on all the social media and everything? Hey, y'all go follow me, man. At B U D D H A underscore S M E. That's Buddha underscore S M E, man. That's my IG, man. Y'all go and follow me, man. Cause I'm lit. And what's the S M E stand for? For those who question and just not tuning into the play like yo I rock with Buddha I rock with this record but what's the SME stand for SME man like that's like my gang man like that's okay. like you know what I mean that's uh stacking money ENT you know what I mean we get you know what I mean that's just come from you know what I mean getting money everybody getting money but is you stacking it you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is true. Because yeah. you getting it, don't mean you stagging. That don't mean you stagging, man. You're going to be having a big overhead, man. Right, so time that overhead is a little too big for everybody. Yeah, everybody so you got to stack it up just stack. like you did, too. <laughs> stack it yeah, yeah. like you did, too. Well, thank you for coming, bro. Uh, not too to plug out audio it's your boy, Cool Kill. Up next, we got this big pun. Matter of fact, no, we're going to run it back. We're going to show y'all what we living like. Matter of fact, what I need a special someone to live like. Shout out to my boy Buddha for coming through. You're not tuned to the plug. It's your boy Cool Kev. I like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Buddha, man. I'm rocking with Cool Kev and the plug. Shout out to Coalition Carolina DJs, man. Y'all go and check out my new single, Living Life. Uh huh.